Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 games you shouldn't play with your partner. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy, man. Right, all right. For this list, we're looking at games that might cause friction between you and your significant other, but their ability to do that doesn't mean any of them are bad games. Far from it. There are spoilers up ahead for the ending of A Way Out, so skip the entry if you don't want to be spoiled. Let us know in the comments which one you'll be avoiding come Valentine's Day. Number 10. Duck Game This absolutely insane co-op game is sure to make you rage at everybody you're playing with. Taking gimmicks to the extreme, Duck Game sees you and a handful of other players going head-to-head -head in a 2D arena trying to fight to the death. The last man standing wins the game. Gameplay is so fast and deadly that you can't help but get angry when you get one-shotted. Duck Game might be more fun with people you don't mind destroying in Mortal Kombat as opposed to someone you actually care about, and that's not to mention the jealousy you'll feel if your significant other has a cooler collection of duck hats than you. Number 9. Any Dating Sim hmm. Dating simulators are a huge and incredibly diverse genre, and you're always going to be able to find one that strikes a chord with you. But a dating sim is far from a communal experience. The last thing you want is a backseat gamer talking you through exactly which romance options you need to choose and how to get there. And this problem could become much worse if you're trying to play a dating sim with your partner who could judge both the person you pick to pursue and your courtship technique. I mean, do you really want somebody that close to you knowing exactly which hatful boyfriend bird is your favorite? Number 8. Any Souls Born One way to beat the grueling difficulty of Dark Souls is by summoning, bringing in a more experienced player to help you, or joining someone else's game if they're struggling. But this is far from the most productive way to play. For a start, while summoning you won't be progressing properly, nor will you have that sense of achievement when you triumph over a boss. Plus, though summoning makes the game easier, if you still get stuck on a boss, it's going to be even more frustrating trying to come up with tactics together. And if you try to run the entire game co-op, it could get tedious pretty fast. Number 7. Gang Beasts Being as merciless to your closest friends as possible is encouraged throughout Gang Beasts. You each control a cartoonish character that you can customize to your heart's content, and you'll be using that character to throw all the other players off the map. And these maps are far from boring. They're dynamic and hazardous, full of things that will break, snap, sink, and fall. Meaning, you're not only being stressed out by your partner, but also by everything else in the game as well. Could you ever forgive someone who lifts you over their head and throws you to your death from the top of a skyscraper? <laughs> Number 6. Hidden Agenda I'm going in alone. Tell me the truth. This game is designed to make you suspicious of people you're playing with, so it's probably not a good choice for a gaming date. Using your smartphone, the game will give one player the titular hidden agenda, meaning they have to steer the narrative in a certain way. You check upstairs. I got this floor. Becky? 
God damn it, where are you? If you want to know exactly how good your partner is at lying straight to your face and potentially aiding a serial killer, Hidden Agenda is a great game. If you'd rather live in blissful ignorance, then maybe give this one a miss. Supermassive Games' other titles have far less loaded co-op modes, after all. Hey! What's going on? Number 5. Overcooked 2 With new features like throwing items, bigger menus, and some incredibly tricky maps, Overcooked 2 has many more game mechanics to get to grips with than its predecessor. This makes it even more intense than the first one was, simulating the high-stress environment of a real restaurant kitchen, albeit a kitchen in outer space. Every aspect of Overcooked 2 is designed to frustrate, and when you're playing with people in the same room, that's even clearer. It's bound to cause some arguments when you're just not able to meet your quota of dishes. Cooking together can be fun, but maybe not like this. Number 4. A Way Out His name is Vincent. Seems legit. Are you sure? I mean... We both thought we could trust Harvey. There is no way out of playing a way out cooperatively. Every aspect of the game is built around the fact that it's two-player co-op, with one person each taking on the role of Leo or Vincent, a pair of career criminals. You've got to work together every step of the way, busting out of prison and going after the gangster who landed you both in there. Until the very end, that is, when it's revealed Vincent was an undercover cop all along, and the whole game has been an elaborate police operation. You and your partner will be forced to turn your weapons on each other, and no matter what, someone's going to die. <coughs> Number 3. Among Us You don't have to be a gamer to play and love Among Us. In fact, you don't need to have played a single video game at all before. To win Among Us, all you have to do is be exceptionally good at lying, which is why it's a terrible choice for couples. Not only will someone be secretly sabotaging all of their other halves' efforts to get the ship running, but they could also end up murdering you in cold blood. If they get away with their crimes more than once, you might never be able to trust them again, regretting the day you suggested playing Among Us for the rest of your life. Number 2. Cuphead Unlike many other excruciatingly difficult games, co-op is actually baked into Cuphead from the beginning. But though Mugman is a main character, that still doesn't mean playing this game with your partner is a good idea. <laughs> Cuphead is a game that rewards skill and memorizing its levels, so you know exactly what's coming next. If you're playing with someone who just can't grasp it as well as you, or you're the one without the skill and someone is getting increasingly upset with you because you can't beat Grim Matchstick, you may not want to be in the same room anymore, let alone playing the same game. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mario Kart and Mario Party The original relationship ender, Mario Kart has been causing fights since the 90s. Don't be fooled by its bright colors or inclusion of beloved Nintendo characters. Mario Kart is, and always has been, an unforgiving and brutal game. If you want to break up with someone quickly, all you need to do is launch a blue shell when they're in first place, or avoid doing this at all costs if you value your continued happiness. And Mario Kart isn't the only multiplayer Nintendo game to do this. Mario Party can cause situations just as fraught if the people you're playing with are a little too competitive. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. 
And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.